Local 5 meteorologist Hannah Dennis tells us just how irregular this year's systems have been. It has truly been quite a year for the state of Iowa for tornadoes. In fact, here is a map of all the tornadoes that have been confirmed uh, in the state of Iowa. You can see that the Metro even saw a good handful of these tornadoes. Now, how many tornadoes have, have we seen this year? 110. That puts us on the top five list for uh, the most tornadic years here in the state. And right now we are the third most tornadic year for the state of Iowa, and we're not too far away from that number one spot. You can see number one spot is in 2004 with 120 tornadoes. So we're only about 10 away and we could possibly see some more tornadoes going into the rest of this year, but our severe uh, severe storm stuff is starting to slow down a little bit. So hopefully we don't have to count any more tornadoes going into this year. Now, as far as the U.S. goes for July, the average is about 119 tornadoes, and we've already seen quite a bit. In fact, just this past Monday on the 15th, Chicago reported that there were 11 tornadoes that touched down, two within the Chicago city limits, nine are in the greater Chicago area, and that was coming from a derecho that came through. And for the rest of the U.S., over 60 tornadoes were reported from Hurricane Barrel as it made its way across the U.S. You can see that it went as far as New York. New York reported seven tornadoes from Hurricane Barrel, and Louisiana had the most with 21 of those tornadoes. In fact, the National Weather Service in Shreveport issued 67 tornado warnings, and their second place for that is half that amount. So they had to issue a lot of tornado warnings. They saw a lot of tornadoes and this storm just continued to show that it was wanting to make history.